everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI New Frontier Pass as French Aquitaine. In the last part, I have seen that there is a hurricane near Nantes, which was just formed, and I've got to keep a close eye on it in case it does any actual damage to the city. And in the last session, if you'll observe down here, I have founded these two cities, Ambois and Bordeaux, on an island to the Antarctic. I'm gonna go ahead and build a university in Ambois. And I also got Diagu through loyalty pressure from Korea. I was very happy to know that, as I am playing as Eleanor of Aquitaine, if a civilization loses loyalty and you have exerted the most amount of loyalty pressure towards the city that rebelled, then you'll get that city immediately. It won't have to become a free city. How great is that? Oh boy, are there barbarians coming towards my kingdom again? Let's get on up. Okay, I need to know where those. Oh no, you don't. I gotta show them who's boss here. It's apparently an ironclad, too. This could be devastating for any of my... naval units that aren't ironclads as well. There are also some religious battles going on within my territory, too. Just thought I'd let you know. After all, having your religion the most dominant in uh, civilization's cities is key if you want to achieve a religious victory, which I don't think I can go for. Oh, that was the final blow. The enemy's health bar set otherwise. I guess it had to wait to process how much health it will have left. Okay, I've completed a trade route as my dedication bonus. So I'll receive bonus era score for that. Um, I do want to say that I'm also building the Statue of Liberty, or attempting to build the Statue of Liberty first, so that no other civilization can one-up me on that.
I've decided that I want to go for a science victory. Even though it's not the newest victory that this game has to offer. The newest victory would be the diplomatic victory, which I believe Canada is going to win at this rate. I'm not entirely sure if getting a defeat cutscene would warrant other civilizations not being able to earn any other achievements or victories. It's probably worth finding out, isn't it? I want to decommission my galley so bad because it's so weak. But, but I don't know why the game's not letting me do that. Sorry, that was just me gulping down my drink that I have. Oh wow, the game's not gonna be... The game's gonna be over before Avignon gets another population. 348 turns until growth. I can tell you for a fact that it's gonna take much more than that. Another Appease the Gods competition. are probably not going to be what I'll be after right now, but they'd still be good to have in case I want to achieve some other kind of victory. If I was going for a religious victory, I think that may have been best. I wonder how often these Appease the Gods competitions start. However beautiful this. Oop. Okay, so I can now sacrifice my unit and get score for this competition. You're welcome, gods. gonna take a lot more units in order to well I've got to get some error score for my unique unit somehow so who but France could create the guard Imperial and who can possibly resist it who knows far behind the rest of the world. Dang. It's probably 
not much time left before the modern era ends. I think I've seen that the maximum is 20 turns. I can't see the minimum because the recording bar is in the way. And I don't know how to move it. So... Yeah. I'm sacrificing my own unique unit to the volcano. I don't know if you have to be near a volcano in order to sacrifice a unit. Well, it put me on the boards at least. Canada wants to establish an embassy. I'll happily accept another embassy. Happy day it is for you. Never criticize a rifle. <sighs> Modern era is going to end very soon. Oh my gosh. The Netherlands has really settled here. Well, it... I don't know if it'll end badly for them, but if it does, then it's their fault. Oh my gosh. Now I see where this ironclad came from. Oh dear. Well, you know what I'm going to have to do now? Go and take it down. Anytime now. I think. Yeah, those are Chahoika, Chahokia soldiers. I think Chahokia is having some trouble getting rid of these barbarians. The no Might as well go and help them. Oh, and there's a battleship, too. My gosh. Battles are fierce. I can tell you that for a fact. I'm considering getting a builder for the 
Daegu and improve those three tiles. We became the first to become allies with Buenos Aires. I'm o I wouldn't say overwhelmingly, but I'm getting a lot of these city-states this game. How many? One, two, three. That's only four now. Plus the one city-state, Jerusalem, that I have captured early in the game. I can't buy naval units with faith. With faith, I don't think there's a, a building that lets you do that. Oh yeah. Looks like Islam is becoming the dominant religion in my civilization. And down here, too. Where'd that meteor site go? Gotta lead my musket men away from there. It's another route to the encampment that they're going to go to. While reinforcements come in. Oh man, I can hear the audio of the game cutting out. That doesn't sound good. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. I can bet it. fire. Okay, it's not near me. Things are getting quite a bit out of order on this map, with civilizations playing in... what is that? Yanero. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the double L's are pronounced like Y's. This much I've learned from 
my Spanish classes back in high school. Which I enjoyed a lot until they kind of got hard. Now, Grand Columbia is going to settle over here, too. Yeah, that's another reason why I probably should never play on a on an archipelago map anymore. I oh, know you're going the wrong way. Um. It's that things are starting to get way out of order. Where can I build my stuff? commercial hub right here. What exactly are these soothsayers doing in my territory now? In my southern territory, and Canada has settled another city. Hmm. Oh gosh, these audio cutouts are really starting to worry me. I... I think I may have to end this part here and restart the game. I don't know if it'll help, but it better. There it goes. Oh, no, wait. And there goes the barbarian battleship. And there goes the encampment. Nevermore will they continue producing naval units from there. The deals that I'm getting seem to be beneficial for me, and that's why I keep accepting them. But somewhere along the way, I'll have to decline a deal. Because sometimes declining might be the better option. In some cases. Let's return to base now.
Why are people changing governments to older ones? Times are changing, people. We've got to change with the times. Engineering is the art. Refining. I got it now. Wait, can this promote? I don't think it can. Oh well. Replaceable parts, here we come. I think I want to do it right now. Two from bonus sources. What counts as a bonus source in this game? I don't know. Hinduism is starting to enter my territory. Special. Yes. I'm gonna enter the modern era, then I'm gonna be done with this part. I'm not gonna have enough era score to earn a golden age, but... Good thing I'll be avoiding the Dark Age. At least I know something good's gonna come up that. Yeah. Excuse me. No, I'm not going to give away any of my iron, of my oil yet. Well, this deal does not involve oil, so I'll do it. Anyone else want to trade with me? Or say what I'm doing right or wrong? Okay, I'm in, the, of us take better care of I'm in the atomic era now. I'm gonna do either Heartbeat of Steam, Wish You Were Here, or Bodyguard of Lies. I do want to get a few spy missions in before this game ends, so I'll do the Bodyguard of Lies dedication. I want to work my way towards something as well. I'm gonna do rocketry. Speaking of which, how close is everyone to... Nobody has started to build any spaceports yet. Surprisingly, 
And I think this is going to be it for this part. How many turns will it take for me to reach the research? How long is it going to take for me to research rocketry? For me to build a spaceport? And move forward in the first step of my science victory? I'm not sure. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I know it's a little abrupt, but yeah, sorry. Bye!